everybody, today I am here and I am doing a much requested bandana tutorial, yay! Um, a lot of you gals ask me about bandanas, how to keep a bandana on your head, and also this is a great style if you have really dirty hair or if you just don't feel like styling all of your hair because essentially all you are styling is this little doodad in the front, so it's really, really easy. One word of advice and or warning, there are some heads I don't know why this is true, but it is true. There are some heads that a bandana does not want to stay on. So girls that have really flat back of their heads or just certain shapes of heads, uh, a bandana will be a little bit tougher. So this style is actually easier on most heads versus this, the style where the bandana is just sort of wrapped around the front and your hair is on the top because this is sort of forcing the bandana to sit straight. But I'm gonna teach you guys some tricks to get it to stay on your head. So um, I don't know, let's get started. Okay, so to start with, make sure you brush through all of your super dirty, kind of crunchy hair. And then I'm going to section my hair. So most of the time for the barrel roll, you want to section really far back so you have lots of hair to make that barrel. But when you're doing a bandana, you don't want to section too far back because if you section too far back, then the bandana will sit too far back and then you'll have the problem with slipping off the back of your head. So I'm actually just gonna do sort of a shallow sort of U shape here and don't bring it back too far. This is kind of different on everybody's head, so just find the depth of hair that you need that works for you to keep your bandana on your head. So here's the easy part. I'm gonna do this in two sections because I do have bangs that are growing out. But I'm just gonna take a curling iron and I'm going to curl the hair in the direction that I want the roll to roll, just like I do my other barrel roll. And then I'm gonna curl my bangs separate so that they stay in the curling iron a little bit easier. Ta-da! So now I'm just gonna tease my hair section by section and make sure and give it a good tease because you have less hair in this barrel roll to work with than you would have in a normal one since you didn't part so far back. So now I'm going to take my pomade. I'm using Lady Luck Pomade by Big Slick Pomade. And this is a nice, thick, waxy pomade. I'm just gonna get a little on my fingertips. And then smooth around where you've just teased. And then I'm gonna take my little smoothing brush. I'm just gonna smooth these outside bits so that there's no fuzziness. And then I'm gonna give it a little spray to set that wax and then smooth a little bit more. So now I'm gonna roll the hair around my fingers and you wanna hold it out this way a little bit at an angle. If you start rolling down and then you try to pull it over, you're gonna smash the um, height in the top of that roll. So you wanna make sure you pull it over a little bit. And you're gonna roll the hair around your two fingers. And then once it's nice and neat, I'm gonna roll it all the rest of the way down. And just make sure that you tuck anything that starts to get wonky. I'm gonna put the first pin in the center, and this is gonna be the best place for the anchor. And then I'm gonna put my second pin towards the bottom so that this part doesn't fall out. All right, now I'm gonna give it another spray and just smooth a little bit. Easy, super easy. So here's the even easier part. Let me turn around for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually just gonna take this and make sort of a flat bun against the back of my head. The flatter you get it, the better the bandana is gonna look because if you have it really big and try to put the bandana over it, it's gonna be sort of sticky outy and weird looking. So I'm gonna put it flat against my head in a little bun and then I'm just gonna pin it down in place. And you don't have to be neat with these pins because this is all gonna be covered up anyways. Usually it only takes me three. If your hair's thicker, it might take you a little bit more. And then I make sure to do one under here too so that these little neck hairs don't come out of the back of the bandana. And then in the front, I wanna make sure that this is all pulled back too. So I'm actually gonna take my comb, pull my hair back, and then pin. Because the very front of your hair might be seen. So you want that part to be smooth. Okay, so now comes the bandana. I'm just using a normal red cotton bandana and I am folding it like so. So I'm gonna take that flat bit and I'm gonna put that in the back and then pull these bits up. Now you wanna make sure that you tuck this guy in and don't smash your barrel roll while you're tying and you wanna make sure that everything is nice and centered and tight so it stays on your head. So once it's tied, just make sure you sort of fluff these little guys up so they look cute and not dented. And then these, you wanna make sure to tuck. Same thing on the other side, tuck it down. And then if you do have a flat head, as I do, meaning the back of your head is a little bit flat and bandanas have a hard time staying on, I like to use these little clippies 
to keep the bandana on the front so it doesn't slide backwards. And I just pin them near my temples. Now if you're going to do this style and you wear glasses or you're going to be wearing sunglasses, pin a little bit farther up because when you go to pull, put the glasses on or off, it's going to kind of smash these or it'll crimp your ear and it kind of hurts. So be aware of glasses if you wear them. Also if you have a hard time keeping the bandana on, even with these clips, and you find that it slips up in the back, what you can do is take two bobby pins and crisscross them. So I just put them at the nape of my neck, do one angling that way, and then one angling the other way, and then cross them so it keeps them on. So that will make it so they're really stable and they really grab the hair at the nape of your neck and it won't slide up. And that's it. So easy. I hope you guys found this useful. I get a lot of questions about bandanas, so I thought it would be a good one for you gals. If you guys have any other vintage hair tutorial suggestions, no matter how simple they are, please do suggest them because I'm always looking for new videos and just new video ideas in general. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.